The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Tax the rich, feed the poor, tell their own old rich no Well, a stunning admission by a member of the national left-wing media. Listen to MSNBC's Mika Brzezinski this morning talking about the media's role. He's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts. And it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control exactly what people think. And that is, the, that is our you, job. It's her job, apparently, in her mind to, to control what people think. Extraordinary. Uh, joining us tonight, veteran of 10 presidential campaigns, leading Republican strategist, Ed Rollins. Ed, great to have you here. You're, you're just your reaction. Uh, when I read that, I've known Mika for a long time, and, 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 I, and her father was the national security advisor for Jimmy Carter, so I've known the family for a long time. It's the most absurd statement I've ever heard. <laughs> it's, it's like the front of the New York Times says, all the, all the news that's fit to print. It's not all the news that's fit to print. It's all the news they choose to put in there. Right. And I think to the idea that your job as a, as, a, as a journalist is to educate the public, your job is to write the story. Your job is to basically tell the people what is happening and not your interpretation of what is happening, what is happening. And unfortunately, there's too many today who want to write opinions on the front page and forget the opinion page. And that's yeah. what that's what this whole issue is. It, it turns out she must be an acolyte of Hillary. Well, she, uh, she definitely was an acolyte. Hillary Clinton, because... Uh, this is reminiscent of uh, Hillary's remark that she wants the, the voting public to be both uneducated and compliant. All right, folks, welcome. You got to plug back in. I just said that. I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we do that all the time, don't yeah. we? It's all right. Don't worry about it. Just let, let it rip. All right, welcome to Pod Talk, everybody. I'm Jim. And I'm Paul. Uh, so We're missing uh, Jeremy, he's late coming yes, in. Yes, I'm missing in action, Mr. Jeremy. He's like fucking Waldo. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? Um, that's an old clip. That's an but, old clip. That's what but it's relevant. Had his own it, but it's still relevant as ever. Probably even more after the, the exactly. um, results of what's happening in the news lately. Jesus Christ. But that, you know, that's a Freudian slip. That's an actual Freudian slip. What, telling people what they're going to think? What she said, that's our job to tell people, people what to, to think. think. Yeah, I know. And she meant that. She didn't mean to say it, but she meant it. Absolutely. And, and, and that's the arrogance of these people. They think because they're on the airwaves that they're there to control the way we think. I, I mean, I understand that we're, we kind of... We're not telling people what to think. We're just putting facts out there. If you disagree with them, fine. I don't care. That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. I actually appreciate the fact that, you know, there's give and take and, and you know, any kind of argument or discussion or whatever. But they don't want a discussion. They don't want a dialogue. They want a fucking monologue. And they want to silence any other voices. Because to them, it's a threat. To me, it's a, it's a discussion or an argument. I walk away at the end of it, one way or another. Might be pissed, right. especially if somebody fucking beats me in the argument. <laughs> but at the end, it's just a discussion. The media wants no discussion. It's a fucking monologue. The left in general, I would say. Jim, what's up? <laughs> I, I'm trying to do this, you know. But what are you doing? Thing. I'm trying to get up the next show. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I would have kept going. I didn't know what the hell you were doing. Did you ask me a question? Because I didn't no, hear it. No, there actually was not a question, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing a monologue. <laughs> All right, I'm playing the last week's show. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm all set. You got my full attention. How was your day, Jim? Uh, it was all right. 
Forgot to get to the store. I slept late. Forgot to get to the store and get more juice. No, I knew I had enough for tonight. That's right. why I always leave. I keep it to the last second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Now that we've got the fucking niceties out of the way, uh, why don't you pull up a subject off your list there, and we can discuss it. All right, we can go back to the beginning with the National Guard being on the border. Do you want to talk about the Mika thing at all? Uh, I thought we did. No, so, I did. I just wanted to know if you had an opinion yourself. No, that was right. It was an old thing that's still good for today. Right, okay. All right. Nothing's changed. All right, next. National Guard, National on, the Guard border. on the border. All right. Texas is bringing them in. Arizona's bringing them in. Yeah, how many is uh, Texas bringing in? Uh, I, think I thought was... it was like 250 or something like that. Kind of a low number, don't you think? Yeah, especially for Texas. It's a big state. I'd like to see the total um, number of troops. Do you know what? I should have fucking Googled that. We could have found out the total numbers of troops that are committed to going to the border from each state. Right. Massachusetts, not going to send any. I can almost guarantee it. No, they won't. Because, well, they've got that great well, governor. Well, Baker's a nice Republican. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he won't send the troops to the border. <laughs> Baker is all for, He's the one for protecting illegals. Mm-hmm. Baker is no Republican. They're protecting criminal illegals. Baker is a Republican. I mean, Marty, what's Marty's last name? I forget that. Oh, Wa- uh, Walsh? Is it Walsh? The, the mayor of Boston? Yeah. Yeah, the dry drunk. <laughs> he's an idiot. Nothing like getting a fucking opinion from a dry drunk. He is a They said they got idiots boy. running mass. Yeah. Charlie Baker is to the Republican Party what Mitt Romney is to the Republican Party. Right. No, well, he's worse. Baker's worse. I, I, do you know what? I actually think you might be right. He might even be... Romney a made a better um, governor than yeah, Baker. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. No, Baker is a McCain Republican. We'll go yes. that far. Or at least the Lindsey Graham. Yeah. <laughs> That fucking little turd. Oh, boy, would I like to fucking bitch slap the fuck out of him. I cannot stand that man. Which one are we talking about? Lindsay. Oh, I thought you were talking about John McCain. Cause that's Cooper, I, I hate him with a passion. Yeah, yeah. Him I just hate with a passion. I have nothing. Get away nothing. from the die to get the fuck yeah. out of there. What's going on with this fucking Toma? Yeah, I know it. What's what, what shrinking? I fucking hope not. I hope that thing gets to the size of a fucking pomegranate. What the hell is that? It's hideous. Yes, it is. We shouldn't be watching TV. <laughs> Let's stay on subject. All right. All right. Do you got to make a drink? I don't know. Nope. No? Okay. All right. I just want I was, I was going to say, because if you do, I'll just stop blabbing. Um, National uh, Guard, uh, National Guard on the border. California is bringing 400, but they said they're distinctly only going to use them for human trafficking. So why bother? So Isn't not, everyone crossing the not, border human trafficking? No, they're talking about the ones that come over. And, so they're going to let the illegals come across as long yeah. as they're not human trafficking. Right. What a, Isn't they, they nice? What a bunch of fuck. You know what? Jerry Brown... Needs to be hauled to put before stipulation court. on what you troops are going to do. Isn't that fucking... He is violating... Isn't that patriotic? He violates so many laws they're on all a daily basis. Defend, it's disgusting. Protect criminal aliens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Forbidden uh, municipalities to um, uh, work with ICE. It's against the law. It is. He signed it into law. Uh, they can actually be prosecuted for helping a federal agency apprehend a criminal. Even the public. And why are the police going along with it? Why is the police union going along I, with it? I have it? no you know idea. I, mean? I, I, I don't fucking know. Because it, it only no makes sense. their job harder. Well, you know, they're getting it from the police commissioner, which is the, with the Somebody mayor. Somebody fucking well, the mayor. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I say, we're going to run the police department the way I want to run the police well, department. They don't want to lose their fucking jobs. There are no other jobs in California. Right. They lose that police job, they're fucking done. They might as well sell their house and move to another state. Yeah, but they could do it on the sly. They Just like they do when they go to the newspapers when they ain't supposed to say anything about a case. Well, yeah, call it in anonymously. Right, and they could do the same thing. Yeah, but still... That's not the same as law enforcement being the front line. No, I know. Now you're just a private citizen. You might as well not be a cop. You might as well just be a private citizen turning people in. It's, it's, it's fucking mind-boggling. The fucking mayor of Oakland 
warns them, warns them that ice is coming into the area, and she's not in trouble. I know. That's not Aiden and the Batten. I do. I do. Anything wrong. Well, Napolitano, Anything Napolitano wrong. said, that, you know, the judge Napolitano, he's saying that Aiden and Abed means you're hiding them in your cellar. No, 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 it does not. Like I said, there's no. a lot more to Aiden and Abed. No, because uh, if you warn somebody that the cops are coming and, and they can prove it, right. they can get you. For you're Aiden. aiding and abetting. You're giving information. Uh, what about World War II? Giving information to the enemy? You used to die for it. Now it's you don't even get a slap in the wrist. And they are the enemy. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. This fucking illegal invasion, and that's what it is. It's an invasion. 40 million people. All right, they've been saying 11 million for, what, 30 Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. It's far, at least 40 million people. Yeah, out of a population of 20 million. Now, if they walked in with rifles, would, would have stopped them at the border? Because that's what they're doing, is trying to take over the country now. Yes. Yes. And the fucking, the liberals want it because they're hoping to make them fucking voters. And tip yeah, the scale so they're not gonna vote never for, get a vote. They're for, not going to vote for Hillary or anybody white anymore. <coughs> Somebody's here. Somebody's here. I came in in a hurry, I swear. Yeah, it's all right. That's all right. We're getting... We're getting used to it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having network issues, I've, which actually should be fixed tomorrow evening, by the way, hopefully in time for the show. Well, did you have time to stop at the store for beer? Oh, well, no, I got 27 beers stashed inside my pool table over here so the old lady don't see it. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, if she's listening, she knows now. <laughs> I, well, I, I told her earlier, and she thought I was joking. <laughs> Little did she know when she's pulling you off the floor. <laughs> it actually stays pretty cold in that room even during the summertime, so I, I store beer and pop and all right, kinds of stuff in, over there. <laughs> right, you're in the cellar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, do you want to jump in on the conversation we've been talking about um, the National Guard on the border? Uh, and we went to California and the, the Oakland. And California, and the, never heard of her. Yeah, same here. You're not going to be able to hear from it soon enough. I mean, it's, it's going to be in a blackout. Yeah, how they're harboring yeah. criminal aliens. Oh, yeah, they, they want it. Uh, they even come out today, I believe it was, and said that their National Guard are, are not going to go to the border and they're not going to enforce immigration laws. No, he, they did say the only thing they were going to enforce is trafficking. You yeah, yeah, trafficking. Human trafficking. They said but everyone else is going to be able to pass. Yeah. So he's telling them what their troops can do. They, ain't they federal troops of this state? Uh, actually, uh, the president has to put in some sort of, uh, I wouldn't call it a request. He can request troops down there, but I can't remember the exact name of the document. He has to put in some kind of a document that federalizes the National Guard before he can tell them what to do. Oh, okay. So so Brown isn't breaking the law by telling them to break the law. No, the the government, uh, the state government can actually order the troops to do whatever, but in order for the president to do it, he has to federalize them first. Fucking uh, federalize. So like a martial law or something. Kinda, yeah. Basically, that's that would be about it. Then they should federalize them until that friggin' wall is up. Oh yeah, without a doubt. They should uh, authorize, you know, American citizens to sit over there with guns at the border and shoot them yeah, yeah. as they come across. Exactly. That's what I said. You should be, if I go wandering into Area 51, right, the uh, sign says they can shoot me. And I'm a U.S. citizen. But crossing the border, yeah. they can't shoot you? I guarantee you, you would be dead before you even got within 100 yards of the fence. What, at Area 51? Oh, yeah. There is no fence. There's no fences. You can walk right walk right onto the property. But they see you the second you do. Oh, well, they got sensors, as, I believe, as far as uh, five miles out. Outside of the perimeter, which yes. you're not supposed to have. Yeah. And let them know that people are getting within a certain range of the base. Yep. And then they had that mountain where they could actually see the base from. Yep. And uh, the federal government snagged it and pulled and moved the border out. 
so you can't even get in range to see it. And I'm talking with the massive telescopic lenses. Right. You, you, there's no real vantage point to see the base now anymore. Yeah. Speaking of stuff like that, I wouldn't even necessarily, this is not related to Area 51, but did you guys get to watch uh, Mark Zuckerberg's live testimony at Congress? Yeah, I got, I got to see some of it. I didn't see it all, of course. Did I you saw see? most of it the first day and a little bit of today. That I saw the highlights. Did you see the parts where he couldn't define what hate speech meant? That I did not. No, I, I, I wish we had got that Was on that yesterday. Can you pull that up? I believe so, yes. Try to pull that up um, and see if you can play it. I will, I will try. I don't know if it will let you, me play it through the team speaker or not, though. Do you know what I, uh, the one I like the question when uh, the congressman asked him if he was comfortable uh, um, saying what hotel he was staying at? And he said no. That was, he said that yeah. quick. Yeah, he's like, no, I'm not comfortable with that. He, and and, the, and the, the congressman says, uh, yeah, well, it's about privacy. He, uh, he said uh, that, uh, what was he said about hate speech? He's, that he was out to prevent stuff like uh, terrorists. Um, oh, my God, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, I think I need an education all of a sudden. Yeah, the girl, <laughs> you and me both, brother. <laughs> He didn't call it hate speech. He was basically said he was trying to prevent, uh, you know, terrorist propaganda. That's what it is. Yep, terrorist propaganda you can find on Facebook. Yeah, that's exactly why one of their suggested uh, pages for me was the Islamic Paradise. Mm. Uh, one of them uh, asked him about what about diamond and silk. You uh, you throw them off, and he goes, well, uh, S Senator. That, well, that was a mistake. We rectified it. Yeah. Yeah, he, they only <laughs> rectified it because he knew he was going in front of Congress. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. He, and it's amazing, these two black He was women. calling them dangerous. Yeah, yes. yeah, their speech was dangerous. Uh, I've heard them before. Not a huge fan or anything, but I think they're cool. No, yeah. they're fine. Yeah. They're black but, people that like Trump. Yeah. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but they I don't hear them saying anything dangerous. Yeah, I don't. Which one? The one that's going, uh-huh, all the time? <laughs> she she saying something dangerous. dangerous? That's right. She uh -huh. more or less took their, their income from them by yeah. kicking them off of Facebook like that. Right. So, like I said, there'll be a lot, so... Well, they're back on the edge. And he admitted it on TV, so, like I said, they got a lot, so... I, I got to keep out how many... I got a kick out of how many times he had to say, well, I'll talk to my team and get back yes. to you on that. <laughs> I'll talk to my team. <laughs> he didn't know what to say. Yeah, he, he did. Heavy. <laughs> he couldn't define hate speech. That was the biggest thing for me. It was like, why are you out here with 20,000 freaking employees who are supposed to be doing security and... Getting look at the hate like speech, they, but they, they don't know what it is. Speech, but he doesn't know what it is. Yeah, you can't define it, but you're out there hunting for it. And, and, and like I was saying on Facebook the other day, I could literally censor every single conservative on Facebook in six lines of code or less. Or ten lines of code or less is what I said. But it ends up being like six or seven. Yeah, but, but yeah, they know how to do it. So he, he built Facebook. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. And for him to sit there and lie to Congress like that is just, you know, that was, to me, that was blatantly obvious. Yeah, but do you know what? I think you actually are going to see um, some changes on what's being um, uh, blocked on Facebook and stuff because now the cat's out of the bag. Well, yeah. Oh, definitely. And, and I don't think he wants to get hauled before Congress again. I, I don't think he liked it. I don't think he was well, comfortable he, with it. Well, uh, they more or less told him that if he doesn't straighten Facebook out, that he will be subject to uh, uh, punishment from the Federal Trade Commission. Good. It, it should be a fair and equitable market for all. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, you know, he don't care. He's a and, 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 and by that, I mean um, thought. If you're opening up a, a, a place where people can express their feelings and their thoughts, 
Mm -hmm. As long as they're not breaking the law, it should be open to ev if it's open to everyone, then you can't block one side and not the other. Right. Which is exactly what he's doing. Because, you know, he, he has liberal views and all that. Everybody knows that. Yeah. And then and that's fine. What are we talking about? Ah, uh, Zuckerberg. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Yes, I have somebody outside my house texting me at the moment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We tell everyone between 8 and 9. Well, you no. Call, like Mark. Don't you knock on the door. Don't you knock. And they do anyways. Yeah, and they do anyways. I'm, I'm waiting for my wife to come fucking my, uh, pouring my, through the door shit-faced. <laughs> my brother is remodeling his bathroom, and I am basically the only person in the entire family who has a pickup truck, so whenever That's they need to haul stuff, they come to me. Okay. I figured all of you fucking hillbillies had one. <laughs> hey, 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 wait a minute. Actually, I kind of like being called a hillbilly. Go ahead. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was going to go into Billy Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being called a hillbilly because I know that's what I am. Yeah, do you Are know you from the hills? Well, actually, technically, no. I've been born and raised in Ohio. I've been in Ohio all my life, but my family, you know, migrated from places like Kentucky and Tennessee. So, Those are some I hills. swear to God, everyone in Ohio started out somewhere else. Uh, if you really reach back to my family roots, we started out in, uh, Scandinavia. Where? Scandinavia. Oh, Scandinavia. Yes. Ah. Way, way back when. Fucking Nordic, huh? Yep. No wonder why you have them fucking right-wing views. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but true. <laughs> funny, but true. Oh, my uh, stepdaughter's going to Ireland. Oh, tell her to take me with her, please. Why? Why would anyone want to go to fucking Ireland? Because that's, that's part of my heritage, you know. So it's, I'm that's, half Irish, too. I'm English, but I'd still like to go to Ireland. I'd go visit well, Northern I am, Ireland. I am 32% Scandinavian, 31% English. What, did you have I, your DNA fucking run? My grandmother's yes, from Robinson. I oh, you really did? Yes, it was yeah, the he, he got one of those DNA. DNA. Oh, it. you did. <laughs> do you know what my wife wants to do? She wants to go. Um, she's got a friend that a black guy, and she wants to get the swab from him and then send it in her name, so she gets a certificate <laughs> and then hang it up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I go. That is the best fucking joke ever. Put it right up on the wall. <laughs> and then show it to people and say, see, I told you I was black. <laughs> I am 98% South Saharan African. <laughs> God. You know, literally everybody in the States, almost everybody, has at least 1% uh, South African in them, or African <laughs> in them. So, for them to... I can admit. They, I, I they bet don't. I... Go ahead. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I ain't got the soundboard up, and I need crickets. I was going to say, you went, you went silent there for a second. <laughs> Actually, that was unintentional. I was waiting on you to speak. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> no, I was going to say, um, I guarantee you, if I had my um, ancestry run, I, I bet you I'd come up with some African. I'm, I'm from Italy. Do, 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 yeah, no! same here. No! <laughs> My yeah, but from North, Northern Italy, though. Can you exactly imagine? Though, if, uh, like I said, twelve miles out of Rome. I don't know if they originated there or if they came from some other part. Can well, you imagine yeah, but, if? You know uh, what I mean, I don't know any of their background. Can you oh, imagine sorry, if sorry. a guy like David Duke did a DNA test and it come back with African? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I guess a lot of people have it. A lot of white people have it because we originated from a black woman in Africa. Most of our religions, or most of our Couches. Yeah. Fucking ass. I would love to see that. You know he would throw a fucking rope over a beam and hang himself. <laughs> you know he, he would. He probably would. That's really sad. That kind of reminds <laughs> me of that Dave Chappelle video where oh, he, he's Chappelle. a member of the KKK and he doesn't know he's black. <laughs> yeah, he's blind. 
Fuck you, that's my sister! <laughs> and t- yeah, until he's at a KKK rally one day and he pulls his mask off and everybody's like... <gasps> yeah, I love Chappelle. He went after everyone. My he's, favorite uh, character he's was from the Ohio, crackhead. I believe. Crackhead Bob? Uh, no, uh, no, I forget his name. The crackhead character he did, but fucking great... <laughs> The what and homie's a clown, was it or something? No, that was Saturday. No, that was um in Living Color. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was um uh, uh, one of the Waynes. Damon Wayne. Damon Wayne's. Yeah. Homie don't play that. <laughs> I had a shirt. I actually had a homie the clown shirt. That, you know, that that reminded me of Forrest Gump in a way where he's, you remember where he decides he's just going to run across the country yeah. and he wipes his face on that guy's shirt. And the guy says something like, hey, you go, uh, just stepped in shit. He goes, it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that's how they come up with the smiley face shirt that says shit happens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that there was so, be, I, so much ironic shit in that movie. That, Believe it or not, I actually like that movie. A lot of people don't, but Do you I know what thought I liked it was pretty fucking cool. Uh, do you know what I, the part I liked was when he just decided to stop running, and all the people are like following him, and they're all like, "Now what do we do?" It was like that was like when fucking what's his face uh, Garcia died, and all the fucking deadheads didn't know what the fuck to do with their lives. <laughs> oh, I got a guy at work, and this is what we call a uh, mid-level supervisor he's like between me and the supervisor basically his job is and that's all he talks about is the grateful dead and oh they they suck i never did like the grateful dead i liked one song of theirs and that was it and i can't Which even song? i can't remember the name of it all i can remember is part of the letters where it says i will get by uh, yeah I, that's it i will get by I'm yeah. I will survive. I will survive. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, um, Touch of Grey. Mm, That's the name of the song, Touch, Touch of Grey. Every that silver lining has a it. Touch of Grey. It is. I know it is. <laughs> Google it if you want, but you don't don't, don't bother. Did I'm you right. hear my computer keep working or something? Because yeah. that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know it's a Touch of Grey. And uh, the other song I liked, there was a, one other song... Um, I like Sugar Ray. Nah, he did that on his own. He didn't do it with the dead. Nah. That's the only song Fuck I really like. Just liked imagine it. spending twenty years. Of I own cocaine. Oh, Riley that's Casey Jones. Jones. No, that was something else. Driving that train high on cocaine, cocaine. Casey Jones. You better watch, watch your, your speed. speed. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna go through the whole song. That's as far as I go. Right. Anyways, yeah, the good that sucked. Let's face it, they sucked. Yeah, you Jordan were exactly right like on Black that. Sabbath. I bought the album and I heard Trucking. One of the most overrated bands in the fucking history of rock and roll. I took the album off the record player and smashed it against the fucking plywood wall. You, you know another group? I cannot stand <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. Let's see, I like Fleetwood Mac. I fucking a lot cannot of this, I like a lot of them, I don't. The only two songs I, I like. Well, that sucks. The songs Lindsey Buckingham sings, but that's about it. See, I like Stevie Nicks. Oh, she yeah. sounds like a fucking troll on helium. Alright. Uh, <laughs> uh, like uh, I think she's fucking hot, even at her age. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, she's like 70. No, she's... She's gonna be damn near 70. Mid-60s, close to 70. Uh, Google it! No, that's exactly... Good Lord, quit reading my mind, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm in your head, Jeremy. <laughs> it's kind of... It's yeah, nice and roomy in here, by the way. It's nice and roomy in here. <laughs> hey, thanks. I like to keep space for all that extra stuff I'm trying not to get. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about putting a couch over that side. Wow. Believe it or not... She is the second youngest member of Fleetwood Mac. All right. And how old? How old do you think she is? I'm going to say 66. Okay. Um, I'm going to say 69. 
Damn, you got it right on the dot. 69, born May 26, 1938. Oh, I knew she was Jesus. tougher than me. Yeah. She the oldest stole member. The you still want to hook member, up with that? Yeah. <laughs> 69, what a better number, you know, I mean, come on now. Well, at yeah, least you I won't know. be able to get away from you. <laughs> right. Uh, the oldest member of Fleetwood Mac was Christine McVie at 74 years old. Ooh. Wow. Not an attractive woman. No, she's not. That, Dude, her her she's brother, not. that's where they got Fleetwood Mac, McAvee. <coughs> McVie. McVie. Yeah, but that's what her brother was in the band too. They're yeah. supposed to be putting out an album next year or this year or something like that. Oh I guess. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll be great. You know, I'd love to the, see that on tour. Some of the so best. She's older than uh, Mick Fleetwood. See, I thought he yes. was the oldest. He looks the oldest. Mick Fleetwood is seventy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but I Jesus. tell you honestly, I think the best stuff that Stevie Nicks ever done was the uh, duets she did with uh, Tom Petty. Oh, yeah. Don't stop cover my... Dra- no, no, yeah. Stop yeah. dragging my heart yeah. around. Yeah, stop dragging my heart around, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was one of my favorite tunes. Yeah, she, like I said, I liked her on her own. She did... I liked her albums. I bought them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. After about the fourth one, it kept coming out with the same shit over and over. I, I stopped oh, yeah. buying them. That's fucking... It's just <laughs> too fucking... It's just too fucking... Bubbly and cloy. <laughs> it's just too happy and just like a white wing, dog. Oh God, it's so fucking. It's not <laughs> much yet. Oh God, really now good that song's gonna be stuck in my head. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be in mine because I'll hit my head with a fucking hammer first. No, I sleep with a gun under my pillow. I'll just accidentally chamber the thing while I'm asleep. Yeah, yeah. So it goes off when I roll over on it. <laughs> yeah, police report. It was report. an accident. Yeah, the police report. It just says, mercy, kill. Yeah, you won't hear her anymore, but you will hear ringing. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, let's see. Uh... One of my favorite this songs of all time. This I don't know if you guys have ever heard. And it's called uh, Long. I believe it's called either Long Cool Woman or yeah. Slow Cool Woman by the Hollies. The Hollies, yeah, yeah. I know that song. It's a great song. Yeah, that is. Um, what's it called? Uh, the Long Cool Woman in a black dress, blue, red dress. I think black dress. Black. Black. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, nobody knows the words to it. Everyone knows the song. Nobody knows the words. Yeah, I know. It was a Saturday like, night. Bah, 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 bah. Working for the FBI. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's all stick I know. to your day job. Yes, I will try to stick to my day job, which is pretending to be a radio host. <laughs> yeah, I know. Same here. <laughs> People ask me what I do for a living. I tell them I do this for a living. <laughs> All right, let's get this one out of the way. We're just going to start a new subject here with <coughs> Colin Kaepernick. Uh, did you hear about this? No, I've been seeing a lot of him on the news and stuff, but uh, I keep the volume down. So He got a call for a trial from uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Right? <laughs> so, they, they, you know, he books his flight and everything. He's ready to go. For the trial, yeah. right? So they call him and they go, "Oh, one other thing, uh, we got to ask you that if you you you'll guarantee that you won't nail." Boy, that was hard to get out. Um, and he said, "No, I can't guarantee that." And they said, "Never mind then." Wow. Yes. Wait, it goes Seahawks. I was about to puke all over the place when you guys told me that. Well, what happened was somewhere along the line. Somebody didn't want to ask the question, right? Mm-hmm. And hoping that, you know, we'll, we'll just get them in here and we'll worry about that later. And somebody higher up said, oh, by the way, did you ask him about the kneeling thing? And they said, no. And they said, well, you better because if he's going to kneel, we don't want him. And they were like, fuck. Mm-hmm. And they called him. And uh, he said, no, I'm not going to do that. And they said, well, guess what? <laughs> you might he as well cash that plane ticket. <laughs> You're done. Yep. Yeah, he tried, to, uh, he tried to sue the 49ers over that, too. 
He's suing the NFL. Yeah. Saying no. that they're colluding to keep him out of the league, right? Yeah. And I've I seen this on TMZ. And um, yeah. I forget his name. Um, Harvey Levine. He's a lawyer, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the guys goes, well, that helps his case with the collusion thing. And Levine's like, no, it hurts his case. He goes, because it shows he was offered a job and he turned it down. Or at least a trial for the job. Right. He goes, that hurts the case, not helps. I can't believe the Seahawks were even considering that. The guy's a mediocre quarterback to begin with. Yeah, mediocre, he sucks. And then his freaking attitude. Yeah, and do you know what? In any team that hires him, the focus will no longer be on the team. It'll, It'll be, be on, on, him. Him. on him. And yeah. no team well, wants that. He, that's what he wants, though. He wants the focus to be on him. Right. He thinks but, that there's going to be a liberal football team well, that's going to do it for But him. you think of it this way. You're a great fucking receiver or something on your team, right? And, and you're whacking up these stats and shit. Mm-hmm. And all you're talking about is Kaepernick. How the fuck are you going to feel? You're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. There's only a one team. looking to go to another team. There's only one team in the entire NFL that will not hurt his career and one team that he cannot hurt their image. The Browns? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I'm he praying. can't do no worse there, that's for sure. Well, you, I'm praying the Browns get a couple wins this year coming. Well, do too what, well. What shocked me was... The Browns, believe it or not, I don't know if they still are, were in talks to try to get Peyton Manning for one season. Yes, I heard that. And it I, was hoping, I, I was hoping they would. Yeah, you know what? I bet you if Peyton trained and stuff, he could get back out on that field and perform. And right. do well for the Browns. You know, I'm, they're not gonna, they might not get into the playoffs or anything, but they'll get four or five wins. Yeah, I, I can almost but guarantee. See the difference between where you know the teams he's played for and the Browns is, is the teams he's played for. He had a front line that would defend him. That's the only reason he was any good. If he had, right. if he had an offensive line like the Browns do, he'd he'd be considered a third rate quarterback. He would be a nothing. Uh, right, plus it's dangerous, so he's not going to do anything like that unless they put in uh, money, you know what I mean? Oh, to yeah. buy uh, protection around him. <clears throat> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, if he's going to come out of retirement, he's going to be looking for some serious cake. Mm-hmm. Right, but he also an ability to do something. He's not going to go out there just to get hurt. For Well, no, he'll, he'll, he'll want a guaranteed pay no matter what happens. Right. Oh, yeah, a lot of them yeah. like that. And I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard his brother was talking about retiring or did retire. Oh, Eli oh. sucks. Yeah, he's the nice most to... overrated fucking quarterback ever. Yeah, he beat New England twice. Give him that. But uh, when's the last time he's been in the fucking playoffs? I think what was it? His first first or second season with the Giants. He they went to the playoffs and he hasn't been since. Right. No, he's got two Super Bowls. No, he's got two Super Bowls against the Patriots. Yeah, he beat New England twice. He beat us twice. Oh, damn, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, boy, I do. I remember it. Pay- not far- Payton's, not far- got- Payton's got three, right? No, Payton's got two, too. Oh, he does? They both got two. He's got a two-two? Yes, and he <laughs> likes it, and he looks good in it, too. Fuck his life on that guy. <laughs> like a fucking god. Well, yeah, see, I won't. Yeah, be watching, yeah. I won't be watching any NFL until they fucking get rid of Roger Goodell. So, yeah, well, guess what? You ain't going to be watching any NFL for like the next five years. Uh, that's probably yeah, a good thing. Rehire or re-up them. I, I am going to watch the Pats. I, I tried to not watch football, and I was a miserable piece of shit. And I said, you know what, I'll just watch the Patriots. I won't watch other games, I'll just watch the Patriots. <laughs> That's what I'll I just did. watch the Patriot games. <laughs> yeah. Well, I used to watch any game that was televised. If it was televised and it was the NFL, I was watching it. Well, the only sport I ever did that with was uh, baseball and NASCAR. But I, I, don't, I don't do that anymore. I mean, I, we're talking when I was a, a last young Last time man. I followed the Red Sox was 1967. They almost made it and 
didn't come through. I got disappointed so bad. Ne- I never followed him again. Never followed baseball in my life. Wow. Baseball is so fucking painfully I boring. was like 9, 10, somewhere around there. Not a NASCAR fan either. And surprisingly, oh, in New Hampshire, so you'd, you'd be surprised how many NASCAR fans there are up here. I know that's more like a southern thing. Um, but here in New Hampshire, because we got loud in Speedway. Right. And I, it's big up here. I'm just not a fan. Damn. You know the Red Sox have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight World Series championships. Right, they had most of them uh, from the beginning. Yeah, from like 1903. Right, I think we only got uh, one. Uh, they they had, the past 80 something years. They had one in 2004, 2007, and 2013 was the last one. Okay, yeah. so we did get three since they broke the record. Yeah, uh, the curse. Curse, right? yeah, the curse yeah. of the Bambino. Yeah. <laughs> right, but before that, 1918 was the last one. There you go. That's it. That was with, um, who's the guy with the long hair that had a shave to go to the Yankees? He had a beard. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I know. I can Not see his face. for a bunch of idiots. Yeah, yeah I can see his face. <laughs> I, I fucking, I, do you know what? I hate baseball players. They're the biggest fucking whiners on the planet. Yeah, they are. You have very few of them that aren't. They're, they're fucking whiners. You never yeah. get, you never get hurt. Well, I mean, you do get hurt in baseball. But it's far and few between, and the injuries yeah, aren't bad. Exactly. Yeah, they right off the head. It rains, they stop the game. Yeah, I know it. Uh, fuck it, plays. They play football in fucking blizzards. You got yeah, guys exactly. like uh, play the goddamn uh, baseball Joey Bono the for the Reds. He, he refuses to you know take any kind of pay raise just to stay at the Reds. Yeah, um, uh, King Griffey Jr. did it uh, shortly before he retired. He uh, took a pay cut to go back to the Reds. Tom then, Brady Tom Brady has given up raises, I don't know how many times, to get better players so they wouldn't go over their cap. Yeah. He's not even close to the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, you know. Not even close. Like I said, he... he he uh, backtrack. He says, "No, I'll take a cut and pay if you can get a better this." And, yeah, you know, better fucking nose tackle or whatever. Right, and it paid off. He got six rings or five. Five. Go here. Yeah, they went for six less. Yeah. Uh, actually, if he had won every Super Bowl he's been in, it would have been seven. Yeah. Eight. It, yeah. Two to, to New two, York. Two to New York and one to fucking um. Uh, we just lost two. Not Minnesota, but uh, Where the fuck did we just lose to? Who's the super reigning Super Bowl champs right now? It, was, it wasn't Green Bay, was it? Uh, Jeremy. All right, I'm hitting Google. I Who's, was. Hoping... I, I can't believe I can't remember this. Me neither. It was just in February. Oh my fucking head! Two months ago. Holy fuck! Wow. Oh Jesus Christ! I, I'm. I really got one more subject. Head. One more? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we still got shit to do, but... Well, we're getting close to the end. We got about 14 minutes. Mm, right. we, we got the Chapa Quiddick with Ted Kennedy coming out. And, uh, this yeah, there's Friday, a movie coming out. Yeah. Do you know the story of Ted Kennedy at Chapa Quiddick? The Patriots won the last Super Bowl by three points. No. No. That's what no, it that's says what... right here. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> Believe me. That's when they beat Atlanta. Yeah, when they beat Atlanta. And then we lost to fucking, um... We just lost in February. I I, I can't believe I can't see that. It's not Green Bay, The Falcons. No, we beat the Falcons. We beat the Falcons. No, it says Super Bowl 2017 final score, Falcons versus Patriots. 2017, because that's when we beat them was in 2017. You won 2018. No, because okay, it's 2018. 2018 right now. Right, but that's when... No, because it'd be 2018. No, the Super Bowl was in Oh, yeah, it'd be 2019. 2019. Yeah. You're right. You're right, Jimmy. The Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. You're looking for 2018. We lost to the Eagles. Eagles, that's it. Yep, lost to the fucking Eagles. All right, hold Eagles on. Eagles beat I, Minnesota. I got to so get a Brady fresh would, pair. I'll be right back. Yeah, go ahead. So that means Brady would have had eight Super Bowls. If he won every Super Bowl he was in. Right. Fucking eight. See anyone break that fucking record? 
Oh, uh, uh, by the way, oh yeah, I'll, we'll wait for Jeremy to get back to bring up the Chappaquiddick thing because I want to ask him if he knows about because he's a f younger guy, right. so he might not it, know about he's it. He's not from Mass. We know. Uh, well, yeah, it, uh, yeah, but it was a national story. Well, to us, it's like a uh, folklore. Well, yeah, yeah, it's like the headless horseman, <laughs> except for it's the brainless senator. You know what I mean? Like Paul Revere being from right from Boston. Boston. Yeah, Ted, uh, actually, he was from uh, Cambridge. Yeah. Teddy grew up in the fucking a, Socialist Republic know. of Cambridge. I don't think they came from Ireland to Cambridge. But he... I don't know if the old man actually came right off the boat from Ireland. I don't think he did. I, no, I Joe, Ke know. Joe Senior, I should say. Right. I don't know. I don't think so. I think they had been here for a while. Well, the Kennedys? Father and mother or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about the Kennedys? Yeah. yeah, we were just about to bring up uh, Chappaquiddick. You, do you know what Chappaquiddick is? The story behind it? Uh, sort of. But I know it I, has something to do with what I believe Ted Kennedy. Yep. <sighs> you float to the top and you swim away. Fuck, fuck Ted Kennedy was you cheating on his life with, the, with, the, um, with his... This woman, Mary Jo Capone. Like a campaign uh, cheerleader <laughs> or something. It was on the uh, vineyard. Oh, oh Chappaquiddick down the Cape. Yeah. Yeah, it was no, over it was a the car vineyard. accident, really? Is it, is it on the vineyard or on Cape Cod? No, it's on the vineyard. Uh, oh, okay. The bridge going over the water. Yeah, because he Chappaqu swam three miles. Well, time. anyways, he swamped his car into the water. And he had this woman in the car, Mary Jo Kopechny. In the back seat, suppose. That's his story, anyways. Yeah. Well, he screwed out of the car and took off left and left her there. there and called the cops eight hours later. And obviously, she was dead. And uh, no charges ever filed against him on it. No. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Because he was a Kennedy. Because he was a Kennedy. It's, he it's, played, oh, there's he, a movie coming out. He pled guilty to, uh, uh, what do they call it? Leaving the scene of a crash. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, leaving All the right. scene of an accident. So that, they got him for that, but not and the he, dead woman in the car. He received a two-month suspended jail sentence, so he did. He got <laughs> sentenced, but served no time. Right. <laughs> for killing somebody. I wonder if that's a felony. He's saying he didn't remember she was in the back seat. What? But wouldn't that make a drunk driving too? I don't know. If you can't remember, you had a person in your car. And when you've drunk driving, ain't it that uh, vehicular manslaughter? That would be vehicular homicide. You're right. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Which carries a minimum of four years. Not for Ted, though. Not for Ted, though. And oh, not for Kennedy. Suppose, and supposedly, she was pregnant. And, uh, and, and the well, they had no relationship. The prosecutor okay. asked him why he didn't have his chauffeur drive him. <laughs> not, not there, because they were... This was in, what, 69? Uh, it was right after yeah, Robert got Elias, shot, and they were trying to get him to July run. July 69. July of 69. After exactly. Bobby bit it? Well, Bobby bit it in 68. Yeah. Uh, so he didn't run, and that's why Nixon got in. But anyways, and uh, they were making Ted run for 72, and they were what they called the boiler room, which was in Vinny. It was a bunch of people the, all around the Kennedys. Yeah. And he, 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 backed Ted, out of the, uh, he backed out of the, the race because of that accident. Right. Because he was afraid. That was, was seventy two. He backed yes. out, yeah, and then seventy six. He ran with Jimmy Carter, and Jimmy Carter. The nomination went to him, and not Ted Kennedy, because of Chappaquiddick. Oh yeah, I guarantee you that. That's... Yeah. <laughs> I know somebody that wants to be president. He's out of his fucking mind. Well, he That's... had the name Kennedy. He thought it was a fucking seal of approval. Like oh, Clinton. Yeah. That's exactly what he thought. Well, Clinton, you know, he he's uh. No, her. She thought she was going to get in because of her name, Clinton. Well, she's, uh, she thought she was going to get in because of her family. Her family is the whole reason she's in politics and how she's gotten as far as she has anyway. 
You talking about the Rodhams? Yeah. Yeah, if it weren't for them, she would have been fucking a, a, a nobody back during Watergate. He would have done lost everything back then. She got fired from the Watergate hearings. Yeah, because she was caught uh, trying to destroy evidence. Yeah, and the guy that fired her was a Democrat, and he said he never met a more um, unethical uh, lawyer or something. Yeah. yeah, she's been disbarred. Mm-hmm. So was Bill. So I was she was disbarred from the Watergate. Not disbarred, but um, thrown off the Watergate. Yeah, but she, she just hit. At, at oh, the request of a family friend, they say, she was allowed to remain on the, the panel as an observer. <laughs> Is that like an alternate? Isn't that, isn't that fucking yeah, great how basically. politics works? Yeah, You've no. been thrown off, but you can still watch. The fuck home. I'm sick of these fucking politicians. She, you know, she's been corrupt all this damn time, and nobody questions any of it. Do, do you know why? Because it's it's like um, you've been desensitized to it. It's it's like they put you in front of a fucking screen, and they showed horror movies for 30 fucking years. So now nothing can scare you. Yeah. Well, it's not only that. Anybody who questions what she does dies. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, the, the old suicide syndrome. I mean, you know, she had a, a two in the back of the head. Yeah, exactly, right there. She had an aide who uh, committed suicide by shooting himself in the back of the head, not once but twice, because the first shot didn't kill him. Right, that's Vince Foster. He was set to testify and, against her the next day. And, and the ironic part of that is, is even the concussion from a, even if the bullet never hit his head, if the gun's at point blank range, which it would have to be in order for him to shoot himself in the back of the head, the concussion from the blast alone would have knocked his ass out. Yeah, or, or throw the gun out of your hand. Yeah, and he would not have been able to fire a second shot. Yeah, it, 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 that's Vince Foster. But he had two bullet holes in the back of his head. Hmm. On a fucking park bench in D.C. Yeah. Gee. Jesus Christ. That you sounds like a suicide to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Case closed. We don't even have to bring in Quincy to fucking do this fucking... Well, uh, why do you think she thought she can get away with the uh, uh, emails? Because she got away with that. She can get away with that. She anything. can get away. There, there is no standard of... Well, right away, stuck up for Comey, stuck up for... They all fucking... Yep. Oh, uh, you're not guilty. The I, problem no is... reasonable prosecutor would take this to court. Well, Loretta Lynch has grandchildren and stuff that they... They can't prove this, but they believe were threatened by the Clintons. Basically, if you don't let her off, we're going to kill your grandkids. Good thing you said allegedly on that one. <laughs> I think that one could have gotten us in trouble. <laughs> Do you know what? Wouldn't put it fucking past them, though. No, I wouldn't. You know, I mean, wouldn't put nobody past knows what was actually people. said when uh, Bill met with her on the tarmac at that airport. Yeah, oh, yeah, just to bring that up. How isn't that fucking... Whatever you want to call it. Collusion. Collusion? Yes, that was that violating... Crime. Collusion isn't a crime. That was violating uh, uh, campaign regulations, too, at the time. Because they knew she was running. And yet they uh, still had that private meeting like that. That, that Not only that, it violated... Um, that was, I keep wanting to say the posse comitatus laws or something like that. Where she was being investigated yet... Bill speaking to the Attorney General. Hey, you know, we never gave out the phone number. Is that why we got no phone? one yeah, no, don't S H I T. Okay. I was going to say, no, don't. <laughs> well, we only got three minutes. No, we got three minutes, brother. Two Damn, and it's, too, it's too bad we can't go another hour. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I could, tonight I could do another hour. Yeah. Actually, we could do another 45 minutes. Do you want to? Because I could skip the other person there. She never sent the show in this week. So what, were you going to uh, play music anyway? No, do I was going to play the same show do you want, that do I you played want, last week. How about we just go... How about we just end this? And, um... 
we'll just end it tonight because we got two hours tomorrow night. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or maybe we can save some of this energy. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got too many, uh, uh, what do you call it, the subjects left. The rest of it yeah. tomorrow night. Who's uh, the next show? Yeah, who's the next show? Something to consider with Catrice Bonds. Oh, I was just saying. Uh, Grammy winner. I was looking at uh, the TeamSpeak server and it's showing somebody in the It's All About Sex channel. Oh, yeah. That's that was uh, uh, last night. Yeah, that's uh, uh, Professor Jamie. Yeah, Jamie Moello. So, so, Hala, whoever that is, SO. Well, Hala is still in the room. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, she's still in the room? Yeah. Oh, that's why you thought we were doing somebody with her. No. No, 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 no. So she's been she there from last night. Sign out. I think she's just staying there because she's probably going on the week later. And she's just going to stay in there for a week? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she doesn't forget to sign in. <laughs> yeah. You, you know why? Because I finally got her on and I forgot to tell her to bookmark it. Uh, so, well, that's fine. You know what it's, I mean? That's so uh, well, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess. Is there anything you want to plug, Jeremy, before we go out? Uh, not that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, I got a we couple got subjects seconds. in mind yeah, for tomorrow go. night. Uh, I, I, I got a good one. To, one's harassing Donald. That's number one. Yes. Two is Donald Trump in Russia. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had a third one, but <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> All right, we got to go. All right, hey, take All it easy, right, Jeremy. Out. Thanks for getting in, brother. Yeah, Thank everybody you, else, everyone. we'll see you next week, same time, 8 o'clock p.m. Yeah. Eastern. Yeah. And you're listening to Arm Radio. Over the back Take care. Oh.